this is Hibba from My Little Journal, and today I am excited to be chatting and talking about everything that has to do with October Daily 2022. So uh, I want to share with you all the things I'm going to be using, what I'm going to be documenting in, and also uh, I might put together my cover and like title page and things like that. So let's get to it. I want to start with last year's October Daily. I used the mini storyline chapters and look at that. They're nice, bulky, and beautiful. Uh, and those storyline chapters minis, if you purchase like the little pack, it comes with this beautiful album. So I really enjoyed uh, kind of using this album to put my October daily in. And if I ever wanna flip through it, I just pull this off of my shelf and look through it and it's also very gorgeous. So I really enjoyed the size of these storyline chapters. They were the perfect size for me. I was able to use a lot of my products and I also wasn't overwhelmed with the size. So. For this year, I decided that I'm going to use the same album and notebooks. So I bought another one and I can't wait to use it. I wish that they would have different options for the albums, but they do not. But I guess it's still going to look really pretty on my shelf like that. Really, really fun. Now, um, because I'm going to be using the same album and the same size, I'm going to end up basically, probably most of the time, scrap lifting myself because I really loved how last year's turned out. And if you haven't watched last year's October Daily, I do have a playlist. I will link it up above for you. But I feel like I can get a lot of ideas from myself and from my videos and from my project and kind of recreate it and do it for 2022. So now that we know what album I'm going to be using and what notebooks, let's move on to the products. So let's start with the paper. Uh, so as you guys know, I usually don't buy a lot, especially if I have older stuff that I can still use, that I still love. I try really hard not to buy new products, new paper, all that stuff because I tend not to use a lot of paper. So for my papers this year, I'm basically using last year's Prima. I bought this last year, really enjoyed using it. Um, but as you can see, I have a lot left. So I'm definitely not buying new paper. I'm just going to stick to my little paper pad here. I also have a lot of cards left from other kits that I had bought and got last year. So there's a lot of four by eights in here that I can still use and they're still so beautiful. A lot of it is Studio Calico, the paper person shop. I also have like vellum pieces, some cards as well. Even some of these cards I've had for ages. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how long I've had some of these cards. So I'm definitely gonna be using these. These are actually from Kelly Perky back in the day. So I, like you, like you can see here, I do have a lot of product that I can use. And for the 12 by 12, this actually came in my kits from close to my heart. So I have a lot of paper in here. These are going to be great to cover my notebooks. And I also have some large stickers as well that I can use. I think I have some left from last year's Close to My Heart kit. Yes, I do, so I can still use what's left over. I'm gonna try really hard to finish this in 2022's October Daily. I hate keeping things sitting in my craft room, especially that my craft room is so small. So I'm definitely gonna be using what I already have. Um, I did get the new Close to My Heart Halloween kit, which is so beautiful and I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. So those are the papers that I'm gonna be using. Let's move on to the other stuff. Okay, so some of these things are new and a lot of them are pretty old. Uh, and I'm gonna definitely just focus on this stuff to use for 2022's October Daily. Now, let's start with some of the new. This is the new kit from Studio Calico. It's the Halloween three by eight kit. It's beautiful. 
I can't wait to use this one. I'm so excited for it. As you can see, I didn't even open the paper pack yet. Uh, I just thought I would wait until I start working my October daily, but it's gorgeous. And it comes with washi tape, some ephemera, a stamp set. So I have a nice little kit here, a new one, something to refresh my older products, uh, which I love doing. I always feel like if you just get one new kit, it really helps you kind of blend it into your older stuff and you're not spending loads of money. But that's one of the new kits that I got this year and also the Paper Person Shop's new Halloween kit. So this kit is a lot of fun. Uh, you have a stamp set. You got, you can see I already opened this to look through it, but you get like um, some ephemera here. Really cute, excited for the ephemera for sure. And a sticker sheet and some four by eight paper, which again, I can totally use in my mini journals, my mini storyline chapters, because I can kind of trim it off and fit it in there. So it's gonna work perfectly. So those are the two new kits that I grabbed this year. But the rest of the stuff here is um, my old stuff. And as you can see, it's not a lot. These are stickers, uh, I think some puffy stickers, some chipboard. I've tried really hard last year to use a lot of that Prima stuff. So I have a few left. Uh, a lot of my sticker sheets have been used. So these are like older Hey Pumpkin, I believe. Uh, stickers, puffy stickers as well. And um, uh, like I said earlier, I've used a lot of it and I can still use them for this year as well. So I'm definitely going to be using my older stash. I also have some cl um, color cast design acrylics and wood veneers that I can use as well. And a lot of like little ephemera packs that are still so beautiful that have little cards that I can use for flip ups and things like that. So I'm excited for this and I'm going to push myself really hard to use a lot of this stuff because uh, I do want to freshen up my stash for next year. And the more I use this year, the better. And um, that way I can shop and not feel guilty basically next year. So those are the stickers and chipboards. And let's take a look at some of the washi that I have. These are older. Um, yeah, I think these are older Hey Pumpkin washi. This is from Studio Calico and the new ones from the Paper Person Shop, which are so cute, I can't wait to use these. But I don't have a lot of washi Halloween just because I usually tend not to use a lot of washi in my projects. Uh, but let's move on, I wanna share some of the stamps. Okay, so let's take a look at the stamp sets. So a lot of this stuff is old stamp sets. A lot of them are not available anymore. Usually when I'm creating my October daily and I share a video with you guys, if I find the stamp set that I was using, I will link it. If it's not available, I usually let you guys know that it's not available. But um, this is a favorite. I know a lot of people have asked me about the stamp set. I honestly got it from scrapbook.com and it was on clearance. So I got it for like seven bucks and it was the last one on their site when I purchased it. I don't know if you can find it somewhere else, but I think it's from Photoplay. I think that's right. Not even sure, you guys. Uh, I'll look for it and add it um, in the description box for you. But this one's a favorite. I love I using the Frankenstein. I know you can't see it because I used it so much and it's so dark. But um, this is so much fun to use as a flip up. So I'm definitely going to be using that one. I have a lot of close to my heart stamps. This one's another favorite. So much fun to use. And this one's the new one that I got with the kit this year. Really excited to start using this one. And actually this one has some dyes in there as well. So I know I'm using those. And then I'm not going to go through every single stamp set. But um, I wanted to kind of go through just quickly. And I'm using some really old ones from Studio Calico, Paper Person Shop, Kelly Perky. These are the new ones from Kelly. I don't know if they're still available or not, but these, let me see if I can let you guys see those. Those are really cute. I'm excited 
to use them this year. And then we have some from Studio Calico. Really love that stamp set. This one was totally inspired by Nancy Damiano. I saw her use these bottles on one of her spreads last year. So I had to have it. So you can see I have a lot of stamp sets that I can use. And I usually just keep my Halloween stamp sets. This one's actually a new one from Studio Calico. It's actually Harry Potter themed. I don't like Harry Potter. I know I don't want any hate mail, you guys. Don't leave hating comments down below. But I'm not a fan. But I thought it would be perfect to use in my Halloween documentation. So I put it with my Halloween stamps. And as you can see, I have uh, some a good amount of stamps that I can use for my October daily. And I usually just keep my stamps all in my little basket here throughout the year. And when I'm ready to document October daily, I just pull this out and start documenting. But anyways, that is what I'm going to be using for October daily. Now let's go ahead and put my cover together. I do want to cover my notebooks. I'm going to show you why. So these notebooks, let's pull this off and open this up. So these notebooks are pretty, but they are not Halloween themed. And I'd rather kind of make them more Halloweenish for me. So I have not decided how I'm going to do this, but I do want to cover the covers with some scrap paper, not scrap paper, scrap booking paper, uh, like I did last year. I'm going to do just one for the first half of the month and then maybe you know halfway through i'll share with you the second notebook and how i'm going to cover that one but it's really easy to do i'm going to share with you how i'm going to do it i'm going to speed this up and just do it voiceover but i'm going to go through my 12 by 12 halloween paper find something that i like add it to the cover and kind of decorate the cover to get ready for October day. Okay, you guys, let's start by making my notebook look nice and pretty for my October daily. I am literally just gonna go through my 12 by 12 paper. I don't have a lot of options. Like I've said before, I don't have a lot of paper, especially 12 by 12. So I end up going with this close to my heart paper that has the frames. I think it's cute, it's adorable. I thought it would be fun to kind of play around with the frames a little bit and make it my own. So I'm going with it. Now, how I cover my notebooks is really simple. I don't know if it's the right way to cover notebooks, but that's literally how I do it. I measure my paper. I make sure that I know where I'm cutting because I do want to make sure that I have the frames that I really like on my cover. Once I do that, I trim down my paper and I fold over the paper on my notebook. And it's literally just going to go from one corner to the other. I will grab some hefty duty double adhesive tape. I like scrapbook.coms. They do have this tape in different sizes and that's one of the things I love about it. So I'm just going to use the tape and cover my piece of paper. So when I stick it down on my notebook, it's from one point to the other. I do want to make sure it covers the whole notebook and the tape sticks down to the whole cover, if that makes sense. I also do grab my bone folder and make sure that it's folded right in the center. I do leave a little space, a tiny space where the fold is in my notebook. So it's easy for me to open the, fold, the notebook and close it back up, if that makes sense. Once I get that done and I stick down all my tape, I will literally just remove one piece of tape at a time, stick down my notebook, make sure that you do this very slowly so you don't get any creases and that everything is stuck down properly because once you stick the notebook down to the tape it's really hard to remove it because this tape is pretty strong So at this point, I'm thinking I'm done. I'm going to remove the tape so I can stick it down to my notebook. I remembered that I wanted to trim off the rounded corners off of my notebook. You're going to see me here kind of look at it and be like, wait, hold on. I forgot to trim down my notebook. So I actually go off camera, 
trim down my notebook, and now I can stick it down. I do this because I don't like the rounded corners. I like the size to be a five by seven. And when you trim off that little section with the rounded corners, it gives you a five by seven. And if you're not a fan like me, you can get rid of them literally with an X-Acto knife and a ruler. It's really easy to do, but it does take time. So that's why I did it off camera. But if you aren't sure how to do it, there's so many videos on YouTube that shares with you how to trim down a notebook. But anyways, now that it's trimmed down, I can stick down the paper to my notebook. And all I'm going to do at this point is trim off all that extra paper. And I'm going to have a very cute mini storyline chapters covered notebook with a Halloween theme that's going to go well with my October daily. So at this point, I'm thinking, let's make this my own. I'm going to start trimming out some of these frames. I thought it would be fun if I added some type of interactive element to my cover and also a great way to use my own embellishments. So I start with the small frames. I think I can add uh, little elements like candy canes and a witch or stamping or whatever the case is. And while I was cutting these out, I thought I'm going to go ahead, cut out the cat. That way I can add some foam tape to the back and it's going to pop out and it's going to look really cool. And it's going to kind of give you that interactive element once I do that. So I'm being very careful. I actually went with this exact knife. This one is more industrial than the one I usually use from Spellbinders just because I knew it would be tough to go through that cover. Now all I'm going to do is go through my puffy stickers. I do want to use puffy stickers just to add some texture. I'm going to trim my little cat out. I didn't want the background. Again, I wanted to put it on some foam tape. That way it kind of pops. And I'm going to go through my puffy stickers and fill out each and every little frame that I cut out. Now there's one thing I wish I thought about before I trimmed out my frames. I forgot to back up the cover. So as you can see here, once you open the cover, it's very blah. And I wish I remembered that I would have to cover it with some scrap paper. I do end up remembering this later and I will, you know, cover that up with some really pretty scrap paper, but then I'm going to have to go back in and trim out the frames again. So it's kind of a hassle, but if you're smarter than I am and you th think about it, do it beforehand before you trim out any frames. That way you just do it once, not like me end up doing it twice. But anyways, I am deciding at this point that I'm going to use some of my stamps and I thought it would be fun because I'm filling out these little frames. My title page is going to look really odd because I have a little bit of stamping here, a few stickers there, and they don't make sense once you open the cover. So I decided to do kind of like a mind map where each stamp or puffy sticker is connected to the other. So I'm going to grab one of my arrow stamps. I'm going to stamp the arrows. I'm going to fill out the little frames and add in some more stamping in between just to make my title page pop and make more sense. And by the way, uh, you can see me open my cover, close my cover. I want to make sure that my stamping does not show through the cut out frames. I just want you to see it once you open the cover, if that makes sense. So you'll see me, you know, keep opening and closing just to double check. And once I'm done stamping, I'm going to fill out my arrows. And that last stamp is going to say trick or treat. So basically everything that's happening through the month all the way up to Halloween. By the way, halfway through while I was stamping, I decided that I needed to stamp out some words. I felt like it looked cute, but it didn't fill all the gaps that I was hoping it would. And it really didn't make a lot of sense. So I ended up just using my Halloween stamps, 
to add little words underneath each stamp or some of the stamps. I'll also add some bats around my cat to fill in that empty space there. Now I'm going to say this and I know I say this all the time. There's no right or wrong way to do this. It's just literally me having fun with my stamps and filling out the gaps and just making it look like how I envisioned it. So if you're doing something like this, just have fun, create, a, you know, you don't have to plan this out. I honestly didn't plan it out. My whole thought was I'm going to trim out these frames, back them up and be done. But when I opened the cover, I really wasn't feeling it. I felt like it looked very blah and it needed a little bit of oomph to it. So that's why I ended up creating kind of like a mind map on here. And it's all pointing down to Halloween day or trick or treat. So definitely just have fun and just enjoy what you are creating. So I'm almost done stamping, but I do want to fill out that space next to my cat. And I thought going with a sticker, a different color would pop. And I love this uh, Stay Calm and Eat Candy. It worked perfectly. I'm going to add a little black pumpkin as well, just to layer it a little bit. And then I'm going to go through my paper pad and find a piece of paper to cover the backside of my cover. Um, like I said earlier, I wish I thought of this ahead of time. That way I would have trimmed out my frames once, basically, but because I didn't think about it, I'm gonna have to do it now. Anyways, even though it took up more time than it should have, but you know what, it's okay, no big deal. I got it done, I love how it looks, it fits in nicely. It adds some pattern to the back cover and the title page looks so much better with the pattern paper on the opposite side. But that's about it, you guys. I am done with my title page and cover. That is my October daily. I can't wait to share with you all the pages that I'm going to be working on throughout the month of October. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.